Ladies and gentlemen on the Shred Gaming Telecom video, while there's been a huge amount of excitement at the moment for the GTX 980 series and of course the AMD's Fury cards, in reality the cards which most people are going to be buying, opting to purchase, are indeed the lower performance segment, the $100 to $200 or pounds range. And with that, NVIDIA are keen to capitalize on this and are launching the GTX 950. Now, previously, many assumed that they would also release the GTX 950 as well as the 950 Ti, but this doesn't appear to be the case. They are just going to be focusing, at least for now, who knows what's going to happen three months down the line, on the GTX 950, which is going to be a cut-down version of the very same GPU which is powering the GTX 960. So just for your information, this GPU, the 950, is going to be utilizing the GM206-250, while the GM206-300 is the one which is uh, inside the uh, 960. Now, there's going to be two memory configurations available, a 2GB and a 4GB, of course using GDDR5. So this naturally means that we're most likely going to be seeing considerably less memory bandwidth. It's most likely going to be running 128-bit interface, at least according to the rumors and speculation. So the primary difference will likely be, um, in terms of the actual GPU, most likely the CUDA count. We could also see slightly less aggressive clocks as well, but reality-wise, this GPU is probably going to have... If I had to take a pure guess, 768 cores, if NVIDIA do eventually plan to release the 950 tie, it's probably going to have more like 896. Obviously, things can change. Performance-wise, it's going to be a bit of a strange entry because if NVIDIA go too aggressive with the performance, they pretty much scupper the chances of releasing a 750 tie, or if they release a card which is, how can I put it, as powerful as you would expect a 750 tie to be, and then they do release a 750 tie, if that made any sense, they're going to kind of nuke the GTX 960's market, unless there's not much of a price difference between the 7, uh, 750 tie and the 960, if that made any sense. Hopefully it does. Now, I think it's fair to say at the moment that NVIDIA are most likely going to be targeting AMD's latest rebadge or iteration of the GPUs, the R7 370, which at the moment is doing pretty well. Um, if I have a quick Google in the UK, both it and the GTX 750 tie are in the low £100 mark. So, you know, 110 120 So, I would imagine NVIDIA will want to go for something around that because currently, once again, using Great British Pounds, I'm sure you can do you know, your own bit of Googling, an MSI GTX 960 is sitting at around 165, whereas the um, EVGA version is sitting at 163. And obviously those are also on a 128-bit bus, so it does make sense for NVIDIA to keep that as well. So my thoughts on this is that I guess NVIDIA are going to kind of want to just have a card which competes price-wise with the R7 370 and is that latest generation, is the Maxwell generation. It does have the potential, depending on A, of course, the core clocks and B, the amount of cores, to be actually a pretty good buy. Now, some people are going to say, well, let's say you release two of those suckers at £113. Let's just say 110 So you're looking at about 220 Will it be worth picking up two of them, running them in SLI? Well, maybe. But I still... I would rather go with 20% or 10% less maximum theoretical performance but just go with a single card solution on average. There is some times where that's not always the case. But then again, to be fair, we're not even sure that the 950 does support SLI. There's a good chance it might, or maybe some variants will. For example, the 4GB variant may, but the 2GB variant might not. Some of them may be targeted, for example, towards OEMs. Maybe the 2GB 950 will be more found in, say, the Dells of the world, while the 954 gigabyte will appear alongside other such cards because let's face it with a gpu at that performance level it doesn't 
really need four gigabytes of RAM. Um, you know, four gigabytes on average. Yes, there are some games, of course, which will be able to run, definitely push up the memory, you know, to well beyond four gigabytes in some cases. But let's just be totally honest about this. A 950 is probably not going to be able to push all of those settings up and run at high enough resolution to really use all of that memory. Whereas on the other hand, in SLI terms, if you're running two in, in you know in that configuration, then yes, you, you can kind of see a particular uh, you know scenario where that can work. The biggest the biggest deal, however, is that at the moment we're probably unlikely to be seeing any new GPU core, which most likely will be Pascal, of course, prior to 2016. Now, what date in 2016, who the hell knows? And we do know that it will be using, of course, extremely uh, up-to-the-minute uh, memory bandwidth, I'm sorry, memory technology. We'll be using HBM2 as the, the rumours, anyway. And the memory bandwidth is just going to be insane. We're talking, you know, almost two, uh, sorry, almost one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth, which is just which is ridiculous but reality wise right now people need something and obviously they've just recently released the GTX 980 tie there is possibly a little bit of wiggle room and you know the high end maybe they could release like the GTX 970 tie but it's unlikely so I guess maybe they've got enough room in their um, in their range to release possibly the 750 tie but I guess, once again, it does depend on the number of cores that they actually manage to squeeze into the 750. It's all pricing at the end of the day. Um, and to be totally honest with you, if you've got something along the lines of, let's just say, a 750 tie or a seven or a 960, oh, sorry, a 760 or something like that, you're probably not really going to want to upgrade to this unless there's a considerable you know, upgrade in performance. But... Then again, maybe from the power perspective, maybe if the GPU is really overclockable or something like that, maybe it could be worth it. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.